What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to learn how to use CrowdPer Trivia right inside of WebEx in five minutes using the new CrowdPer embedded app for the WebEx application hub, which lets you run fantastic trivia with your WebEx participants without ever leaving WebEx. Let's check it out. All right, I have WebEx going on my MacBook and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on start a meeting. This is gonna fire off a brand new meeting. Now that my meeting's up and running, I'm just gonna go down to the lower button, the lower green button and say start meeting. And this is just a test meeting and we recommend that you practice yourself a lot as well. So my meeting's going and in the lower right hand corner, I'm gonna click on apps. And then from the list of apps, I'm gonna click CrowdPer. And if you don't have the application hub or CrowdPer in that list, reach out to your administrator in your organization to get that added for you. So our options here are learn more, which is a step-by-step -step tutorial that you can learn how to use this or click on get started. And that's gonna let us create a new account. If you've already have a crowd per account or are signed in, it'll bypass this step. But for now, I'll go ahead and fill out the information here. So I filled out my email, first name and password, and I'll click on create account to create a free account. And you can use the crowd per embedded app completely free for as much as you want inside of WebEx. It works for up to 20 participants with up to 15 questions per trivia game. Under countdown trivia, just click on the blue create button there. And this brings up our trivia library, which is a weekly library of trivia games with wonderful ideas about current topics, holidays, sports, movies, major events. We have a lot of Halloween games here. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to a good game here. Okay, name that movie gifts is the fun one. I'm gonna click on the green plus button and click on the next button. And then the next step is gonna ask us about the playback mode. We'll leave that on host control mode, which means we're gonna control everything. We'll click on next and you can give it an optional name and description if you want, and then go ahead and click on the pink rock and roll button. So our experience dashboard comes up, which is where we can edit our trivia game and, and edit answers and, and questions and add new questions and whatnot and set various settings. We're gonna leave all this alone right now. The really cool thing about using CrowdPer inside of WebEx using our plugin is that instead of having to give the URL to your participants, you simply click on the open together button and that will open it, the game right inside of everybody's WebEx um, meeting right there for them to use. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go down here to copy meeting link and just to simulate other some additional participants, I've set up a Windows virtual machine and I'm going to paste that link into Google, which is going to fire up the meeting in my Windows machine and I'll call myself Wendy for Windows. Fill out my email address here and click sign in as guest. And now I'll go ahead and click on join meeting. So now I'm signed into the WebEx meeting as a participant and back on the, in the host WebEx application, I can go down to open together and that's going to fire off the trivia game in every single one of your WebEx participants, WebEx meetings. And I can sign into that as a participant right here as Wendy and click join. And we're now ready to start the trivia game. So back on the, on the host dashboard, go ahead and click the blue start countdown button and press OK. And that's going to start a 10 second countdown, which we see counting down um, in the participant WebEx meeting. And this is going to immediately fire off the first question here and get our trivia game going. So from which Humphrey Bogart film is this classic scene? So I believe that is Casablanca and I'll click that there. And then now on the host screen, I can see the timer clicking down. And once that's done, I can then reveal some fun things to the participants. If I click on show answer results, the pink button here, that will show how everybody voted. There's only one player right now, so it's showing one vote for Casablanca at 100%. And then I can reveal the correct answer and toggle that on. And that shows that the Casablanca was correct and the rest of the answers were wrong. And then finally, the yellow button shows the live rankings. And that shows the current currently that I am in first place as Wendy with 76 points. And you don't have to show all these views after every question. It's up to you if you want to do that. And then to go to the next question, you simply click on the blue arrow here. Or you can use the right arrow key to go to question two. And that automatically fires off the next question, which is the Joker shown in this GIF appears in what film from the Batman franchise? I think that is the Dark Knight, so I'll vote on that. And once again, we can go through the views back on the dashboard. Something that we added for the WebEx embedded app was to collapse the dashboard down in order to save some real estate here. So now I don't see all those controls. And as I'm hosting, I can see what question that we're on, what the answers are, how the answers are coming in. And if I just click on the right arrow on my, key on my keyboard, it fires off the next question. We can see the timer. We can see the answers as they come in. And then once again, we'll cast the vote over here and uh, we can see that vote come in right here. And then when I show live answer results, I can say, hey, one vote came in for Jaws, 
The correct answer was JAWS, I can already see that. And then if I trigger the rankings, it will automatically go to the rankings tab on the dashboard. And so I can read those off and then also show those on each participant's uh, when, uh, WebEx meeting there. And then I can use the right arrow key and it will automatically show the next question here. So I've skipped ahead to the last question of our tri trivia game. Everybody's answered, we've showed all the views. I'll go ahead and press the stop button to finish the trivia game. And on each person, on each participant's uh, uh, crowd uh, participant view, they can see how many points they've earned. They'll show the winner, and then we can see a few more players joined, and I won at with 215 points, and we can see a summary of how we answered. Um, and you, you, as the host, you can discuss the trivia game, and, and the winner can brag to everybody, and, and, and so on and so forth. And at this point, when we're ready to stop this uh, sharing the trivia game, we just go down and press Stop Session and click Yes, and that will then take back the participant view off the WebEx meeting, and the trivia game is over at that point, and you're free to continue your meeting or end it. So that was how to get up and running with trivia in WebEx using the new CrowdPer embedded app for the WebEx application hub. Give it a shot, try it soon, as soon as you can, it's super cool, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, bye-bye.